I recently learned that Blender has a an asset browser that you can use to, um, well, store assets and then easily drag and drop them into the scene, which I like very much. So that's much more like a level editor or something. And um, these are the Cinti assets. Um, in this case, it's the um, Cinti Polygon prototype pack, which is on sale right now. Uh, but uh, you can do this with uh, any pack of any manufacturer, actually. Um, but I'll show how to import um, a Polygon prototype pack uh, as an asset library in Blender. So the first thing you want to do is you want to move the textures into the FBX folder. That makes it way easier for Blender to find the textures in the materials. Then we'll select all and remove everything. Go to the import uh, menu and choose FBX. And then we'll want to go to FBX, select everything. And I think we want to apply the transform. So let's do this. And this takes a little while, so I'll pause the video. If that worked out, we see all of the objects in the scene. And if we go to the uh, viewport shading, um, view then we'll see that uh, the textures will be actually the materials uh, will show in purple so we know that um, Blender didn't find all of the textures so um, we need to handle the materials we also need to handle the materials because um, as we can, will see every object has its own set of materials so every you know, Lambert 2 or Lambert 1 uh, material gets copied over and over again, uh, and we want to change that. To do this, we go over to the scripting tab, create a new file, and then we copy and paste the script that I put in the description in here. Uh, that's step one. Step two is to select everything, so, so all of the objects should be selected. And this script now will uh, delete all of the um, multiple materials in uh, all of the objects. So if I go back to shading, um, I'll see that these are still there because I need to remove them from um, the Blender file, so to speak. And there's a thing called orphan data. And if you go over there, then you can simply select A for everything and purge. And then it tells you that it's purging um, a lot of materials, a lot of uh, unused data blocks. If I do that, you'll see that we only have the um, uh, uh, materials that we need. Now the whole idea is to um, tell the materials to find the right textures. If I select, for example, this guy over here, then I can go over to this open image folder icon and then I can serve to textures and choose the very first one of these and you, as you can see it now finds the proper material uh, slash texture. Now we could do this for all of the other materials and just go over there and choose uh, the image but um, knowing this uh, asset pack I think that we only need uh, one Lambert and one texture um, material so um, now I'll show you how to uh, select all other objects uh, with other materials and um, apply the same material to them. So there's a menu over here um, called Blender File and there you can choose um, a material. Uh, actually I choose all of the materials um, that are Lambert except Lambert 1. Um, and um, note that I selected one Lambert 1 um, object beforehand. So now I can go to right click and um, select link. And now I can go over here and make control L and uh, can say link materials. This should apply uh, Lambert 1 material to all other um, objects selected here. Uh, we know that because we can go to orphan data again and select all again and purge again and then you'll realize that over here 
we only have the Lambert one. So let's repeat that for the other texture. So now we need a um, texture one um, uh, object and um, we select link. So that should select all of the, uh, actually let's do that again. So unselect everything, texture one, select link. So these are the um, objects that have a texture one. Let's choose one of these. Uh, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. So this has texture one. So um, this is selected. So I go over here, texture two to actually everything and uh, select linked and control L link materials. Again, orphan data all purge and so this should result in these two um, this wire thing is a special case um, which I'll handle in a second from previous recordings I know that this uh, ob object that has this wire material has a, a texture that is not in the textures folder so um, that's probably a, a better solution for that but for now I only uh, take this why these wire objects or this wire object I don't even know and uh, sorry and um, just get rid of it so if that worked then I should be able to again perch and then this should be gone yes now would be a very good time to save your progress so far because it's not unlikely that Blender crashes when you uh, apply the objects to the asset library. At least that it did that for me. So um, do uh, open this panel, go to asset browser and I'll go to unassigned and I'll select everything over here, a right mouse click and mark as asset. Now, in my experience, if you watch these thumbnails uh, build, it's likely that Planner crashes as it d just did. So, might be my machine, might be the memory of my machine. Uh, anyhow, the thing that you need to do is to select everything here in the um, scene collection and then uh, mark as asset, but I'll stop the screen recording before. <laughs> now, let's see if that worked. Go over here. Um, asset browser and as you can see we can already see the first assets and I don't see any purple stuff so I think that yeah seems to work so um, now we want to have a catalog because obviously we don't want to have this in unassigned so we go over to user library hit the plus button catalog rename it to um, Synthi prototype go over to unassigned sorry go over to all uh, select all of them and move them into the Synthi prototype library this also takes some time but in general this should work and yes we're good Now my current file is untitled2, which is not the best file name, I'm sure about that. But if I go back to Blender and save, then we'll see that it created a Blender assets cat text. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but um, obviously this is some file that, that we need to um, move with the untitled2 blend because uh, to use this as the asset library, um, we go over to preferences and file paths. And there's an, a tab called asset libraries and there's a user library and this defaults to this path, documents, blender, assets. I could create a new one, but I'll go with this one for the sake of this video. Now there's one thing I nearly forgot, but this one is super important. 
Uh, as you probably know, Blender doesn't save the textures uh, in, in the Blend file per default. To change that, you can go over to External Data and tell it to automatically pack resources. Um, if you, it might, there might be materials that are um, that have missing file names, like the wire thing before, but usually this works. So this is a very important step. So I'll save again, but this time with a proper file name. So um, let's say um, assets synty prototype, and this will go into the assets folder. So I take both both of these files, put them into the assets folder that I uh, manually created in Documents Blender Assets, and if I open a new file now and open the asset browser, then you can see that I have my folder and you can see that I have assets and you can see that these assets have textures. So that worked. It might be worth noting that in previous attempts I didn't apply transforms in the um, import uh, thingy. And uh, and if, if I, when I did not do this then um, the assets uh, were strangely um, rotated. So I think that did the trick. So uh, to sum up, um, this is one way to create an asset library from Synthi assets or from any assets actually. So basically importing uh, FBX files, um, reducing and adapting the materials, uh, saving out a asset a blend file with external data automatically, automatically pack resources activated um, and move the, the file into the respective folder. So thanks for the attention.